Hi, welcome to Gen X Grown Up. My name is Mo and I am a Gen X Grown Up. So when I was about 11 or 12, uh, my dad got me a Heathkill alarm clock. And for those of you who don't know, it's basically a disassembled um, digital alarm clock that I had to solder all the components onto the circuit board, mount the circuit board into its, the casing, uh, hook it up to the power, turn it on, and pray that I didn't do something wrong and burn down the house. Um, I didn't. It worked and served me for many, many years. And I often wish there was something like that today, kind of modernized, that kind of take its place since he picked uh, business, God, God knows how long ago. Along comes the thimble. So this is a project kit that's really designed to teach the basics of not just uh, hardware, but I think most, a lot of software as well. There's a whole programming language you have to use to control the various components that it comes with. And instead of being specifically one thing you can build with it, it seems like it sets it up to kind of have you build all these little ideas that maybe you could then take the next step further and build something bigger or more elaborate. This particular kit has 12 separate projects that they can give you in it, but really that means they give you 12 different components that you could use for various different projects and wherever your imagination comes up with. So this thimble is not so much of a, you know, I'm gonna build an alarm clock kind of thing, but it's more, I think, the teaching tool where they're trying to get you to look at different components, how they behave, and I think most important is that there's a whole programming language, a very simple programming language, that you use to program what these things do and how they react. So you could have a sensor that you know detects motion that maybe makes something light up, and they give you a, like 12 different project ideas of things you can build with this. I'm going to do a, just a brief overview of what the kit comes with, and then take you through very quickly uh, the very first project I'm doing with this. It should be fun, so I hope you enjoy it. One thing I definitely wanted to show was how they really take you step by step through each of these projects. Uh, you know, it's not like you build the whole thing and figure out what's wrong. They take you, you know, add one component, test it, add another component, test it. So I was going to show you just how to do one of those basic tests and the tools they give you to do that. This right here is the controller board. And you see all the white areas here are just various ports. These are analog connections and the rest of these are digital and they're all numbered. So when you actually code them, that's how you identify which one you're plugging each component into. You also have an integrated development environment and they give you tools so that you can actually measure how well the sensors are doing or what type of feedback you're getting. So you know like whether or not things are working. I already have the code loaded up for this thing. So basically I'm going to plug in my light sensor, which is one of the components I need for this project. And I'm going to just use my handy dandy quad hands right here to hold it up, hold it in place. And use another one to hold my light sensor in place and then plug it in. I have the controller board with the light sensor hooked up to it. Uh, software is already uploaded this is, and this is all the code. And so now I have something to show me feedback from these sensors. So this is a light detection sensor here. So you can see that as I move my hand, cover it up, light drops, move my hand, it goes back up. Cover it up, don't cover it up. Very simple. And at least now I know this works and you have some confidence of what you're doing. That's pretty dang cool. So the other component that I want to test that I need for this project is a servo. So a little servo, which is basically a little thing that spins around based on what you do. And so they give you all the code that you need to do this. And once the code is verified, I plug it in and I tell it to upload. Now it's going to upload it and run it from this board, hopefully. Look, servo is moving. The thing is, I know that now I can control the servo. So now I have my two pieces I need for my project, which is the light sensor and the servo. So the project I decided to do is called the Robot Friend. Hey there, have you heard about my robot friend? He's metal and small and doesn't judge me at all. He's a cyber wire bundle of joy, my robot friend. Which is pretty basic. All it is is that it uses that one light sensor. And whenever something passes in front of it, it makes the arm of the robot wave. Now they gave you a drawing to use with it, but I decided to have a little fun and I kind of came up with my own drawing that I found online. I didn't draw this, but I found this online and it's already waving. So I figured it'd be pretty cute to use the old Baymax. So I'm going to mount that on some cardboard. I got my hardware stuff already put together and let's see what happens. There we go. So basically I'm going to have the arm like this and if all goes according to plan, I should have it rotate like this if I 
if I can get this working right. Simple, right? So they actually do have some screws and some other things I can use, but again, for this particular one, I think just using some scotch tape for now, just so I can kind of test the theory, I think it's gonna work just fine. Okay, so there we go. I have my Baymax man all hooked up to it. Um, I have my light sensor hooked up. I have some power going to it, codes all uploaded. So this is the final result for this one project. Cover the sensor and he waves. Now the waiting is kind of freaky, I admit, um, but that could be adjusted either by adjusting the servo itself or going into the code and I could change how much it even goes back and forth, how fast it goes back and forth. So you can really have a great time just sort of playing with this and kind of figuring out what you want to do. Like I said, if I'm finishing it off, I'll probably get in, you know, instead of using my quad hands, I'll probably build a little cardboard stand for this thing so it'll all hold together a little bit better. But um, it's pretty cool. So overall, I was very impressed with how easy this was to use. Um, it's the programming language was pretty intuitive uh it seemed to make a lot of sense to me and you know the, i could just see like the many many ideas and projects that could come out of this um, the nice thing is that the components and the way the board works you can see that you can take components in and out change the code write new code you know do all that kind of stuff and so i'd see a lot of reusability with this i think this would be appropriate for kids of most ages as long as they have you know i would say probably about nine would be the youngest i would go but you know, I could see playing with this thing at hell. I'm playing with it now. So I could see having this um, used for a lot of older kids as well. So the thing I'm most impressed with is the fact that it's really trying to teach you the basics and it's pushing you to kind of explore and do your own thing with this. Um, there's just, you know, again, with all the different components that it gives you, there's just a ton of options, varieties and things you can do, especially when you consider that each component could do you know, you can have it do multiple things. You know, the LED display, you can have it display the temperature, you can have it display a word. Um, it's really whatever you come up with as far as development. So using our token system, I would rate this thimble at probably four tokens. Um, it's the only thing that kind of kept it from getting that fifth token is, one, this is a kind of a loot crate, you know, sort of thing where they send you a different project every month, which is awesome, but it's not that inexpensive i believe it's going for about um 50 a month for this which that's not cheap and probably not in a lot of people's price range i can tell you that from what they give you though it's definitely a lot of fun and i'm curious to see what the other kits you know that they come out with in the future and components they have i mean they built a pretty flexible platform so i could just see this continuing just grow and grow depending on how interested your kids are I'd love to hear what you think of this. So please leave comments below and thanks for watching. Take care. Don't you know that you're a grown up? Subscribe to Gen X Grown Up by clicking right here and enable notifications so you won't miss a thing. Use the comments down below to tell us what you think. And while you're there, a thumbs up would be great too. Please share this online wherever you hang out. Connect with GXG on social networks by clicking right here. Basically, life sucks as a grown up.